This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Hello friends, welcome to today's chemistry class. Today I am going to teach a chapter chemical bonding and molecular structure. Okay, so please note down the chapter name chemical bonding and molecular structure okay these are the contents causal you are studying in this chapter causal levels approach to chemical bonding ionic or electrovalent bond the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory this is we called as vsepr theory valence bond theory hybridization molecular orbital theory and uh, bonding in some homonuclear diatomic molecules and hydrogen bonding so i will cover all these uh, concepts in this chapter okay so then i will move on to the introduction so before uh, i'm going to ex uh, explain in detail i'm going to give a brief introduction okay so i think you have you are very familiar with the matter right matter means you know it is made up of one or different types of elements okay your matter which is uh, you know that matter is made up of one or more different uh, type of electrons correct you you know what do you mean by matter right and under normal conditions no other element exists as an independent atom in nature except noble gases under normal conditions no other element exists okay so different type of this is elements so different type of elements matter is made up of different type of elements but in some normal conditions no other element exists as an independent atom in nature so we can't find out any independent atom okay in the elements except noble gases however a group of atoms is found to exist together as one species having a characteristic properties okay when the when this is the consider there are some more number of atoms in this element okay so they exhibit some of the properties characteristic properties such a group of atom is called we can call this as a molecule okay so they exhibiting some certain kind of properties so obviously there must be some force uh, which holds this constituent atom see here if this type of uh, the independent atoms okay these independent atoms are combining and forming a molecule means there should be any forces in between them attractive forces in between them right so the attractive force which holds various atoms or it may be the ions so these are may be the atoms or ions okay so in uh, uh, together they attract all these atoms in the together what is that there is attractive force so in different chemical species this is called a chemical bond what it is called chemical bond got it so here the attractive force which holds the various constituent atoms together in a different chemical species it is called a chemical bond see now down what do you mean by chemical bond okay so this is the explanation and uh, about the chemical bond so this is the molecule uh, where it can be made up of uh, different types of atoms okay there are different types of atoms in this so these different type type of atoms should have uh, some uh, attraction force in between them so this is called a chemical bond okay some the attractive force is there so they are constitutes uh, together in different chemical species uh, this is called a chemical bond please note down this definition what do you mean by chemical bond and uh, then shall i move to next so 
we know that uh, now we got we have the idea about chemical bond what do you mean by chemical bond i think you now you are familiar with this word right next since the formation of chemical bonds takes place as a result of combination of atoms of various elements in different ways so i think you may have some questions in your mind why do atoms combine correct why do atoms combine why should the atoms combine this is the question you are having and another uh, why only certain combinations possible okay and why do some atoms combine while certain other don't why do molecules possess definite shapes okay so i think a uh, lot my, too many of questions you are having in your mind i know so to answer such questions there some of the in this chapter there are some theories have been introduced as i explained in the contents only you can have the concepts you have put forward so in that uh, there are the dspr theory is there and coselle levels approach valence bond theory and molecular orbital theory so the evolution of various theories of valence and the interpretation of nature of chemical bonds have uh, closely been related to the developments in the understanding of structure of atom so there are too many uh, by all to answer all these questions we are having uh, having theories okay so by considering all these theories we can understand the concept easily so uh, okay the evolution of various theories of valence uh, and the interpretation of the nature of chemical bonds have closely been related to the developments in the understanding of structure of atoms this there is help in in understanding the structure of atoms okay the electronic configuration of elements and the periodic table this there is helps us to understand all these things okay and the next thing is this is the introduction of the topic next i will move on to uh causal lewis approach to chemical bond okay so in this uh, causal lewis approach to chemical bonding causal lewis approach to chemical bonding in order to explain the formation of chemical bond in terms of electrons a number of attempts were made but it was only in 1916 when causal and lewis succeeded independently in giving a satisfactory explanation in 1916 okay so in 1916 uh, causal and lewis they have succeeded in giving the explanation okay uh they were the first to provide some logical explanation of valence which was based on the internness of noble gases okay they the uh, causal and lewis only given the explanation okay about the valence logical concept of valence lewis pictured the atom in terms of positively charged kernel i will explain it so see Lewis postulated that atoms achieve the stable octet when they are linked by chemical bonds, and I will explain to what do you mean by valence electrons and what do you mean by valence? Uh, what do you mean by Lewis symbol? Okay, so consider here, Lewis he uh, he explained that atoms in terms of positively charged kernel, atom in terms of a positively charged kernel. and uh, outer shell that could accommodate a maximum of 8 electrons okay so he introduced kernel okay so kernel means the nucleus plus inner electrons it means nucleus plus inner electrons so this is the kernel he explained that he further assumed that these eight uh, he, what he explained that the outer shell that accommodate a maximum of eight electrons so see here this is the nucleus 
this is the orbits these are the orbits so here there may be eight electrons okay so maximum of eight electrons okay outer shell which can have a maximum of eight electrons so he also he explained this is the first thing he explained and the second one he further assumed that these eight electrons occupy the corners of a cube which surround the kernel so they are in the corners okay so uh, this octet of electrons eight eight of eight number of electrons it can have at the outer outer shell okay this octet of electrons represents a particularly stable electronic configuration it represents what stable electronic configuration Ration. Okay, so uh, electronic arrangement. Lewis postulated the atoms achieve the stable octet when they are linked by chemical bonds. Okay, so if there should be a electrons means there should be a chemical bond. Okay, so if they want to achieve this stable configuration means they should have a chemical bond. They are uh, combined by the chemical bond. So near down, this is the chemical bond. If there are number of electrons present in the outer shell, that is the eight number of electrons. That is, we can say that eight electrons if present in the outer shell, they attain electronic stable electronic configuration. If they want to achieve this stable electronic configuration, they should have a chemical bond in between them. Okay, I think you got the idea now. Next. I will explain you in the case of uh, sodium and chlorine this can happen by the transfer of electron from sodium to chlorine uh, you know sodium uh, chloride how it is formed Na plus plus Cl minus Na plus uh, it is means uh, it is losing one electron chlorine it is gaining one electron so which forms a sodium chloride there is a uh, uh, one uh, attractive force or a chemical bond exists in between them so that they are combining and which gives a sodium chloride okay so uh, the in the process of each atom attains a stable octet of electrons okay so this is about the uh, what uh, Lewis uh, causal and Lewis uh, uh, explained about chemical bonding how it takes place okay next I will explain you uh, Lewis symbols okay So next is Lewis symbols. So what do you mean by Lewis symbols? So in the formation of a molecule, only the outer shell electrons take part in a chemical combination. As I explained, this is the kernel. This is the outermost shell. So that is called orbitals. They are having the electrons. So okay, these electrons then uh, it is, can occupy maximum of eight electrons so in the outer shell, so that they form a octet structure and they are most stable atoms they are uh, present in the outer shell uh, in uh, there there is a chemical bond exists in between them correct this much i explained you now consider the lewis symbol in the formation of the molecule only outer shell electrons take part in the chemical bond these are the outer shell electrons they are called outer shell electrons these are called valence electrons okay now down what do you mean by valence electrons okay um, see here this is called uh, valence electrons okay these are the some other points you know down this valence electrons the inner shell electrons are well protected and are generally not involved in the combination process if there is the electrons present in this inner shells okay so they are not forming any they are not involving in this formation okay so these notations uh, uh, so uh, whatever these uh, valence electrons are there in the outer shell so 
they can be uh, represented american uh, chemist introduced a simple notation to represent the valence electrons in an atom these notations are called lewis symbols so, so example i will give you for the lewis symbols okay this is the example for lewis symbol uh, lithium the outermost electron which is having only one electron then beryllium this is having the two electrons like this okay i will represent the electron in this okay in this color yellow color so that you can easily identify so beryllium having this much and then uh, um, boron this is the boron the outermost electrons are three hence uh, we can represent uh, three like one two three okay so then uh, uh, example of uh, carbon which is having the four okay so these are the examples how we can represent the valence outermost valence electrons uh, in this okay so the, by putting the dots uh, we can say that these are the valence electrons outermost valence electrons okay